think then you kind of like you're just in a world where you know there's NHL superstars like but I remember there was one time I um, was going down for breakfast uh, and got in the the lift uh, and then stopped on like the second floor and Rasmus Darlene walked in you know he's gonna you know he's gonna be the first overall pick that year and uh, it's just kind of like wow you know it t- takes you back a little bit right I've literally come from playing in England all my my whole life to you know for me the dream at a young age was to, to play for the Steelers and I did that and then the next thing I know I'm getting interviewed by NHL teams and I'm sat around you know breakfast tables with all these NHL prospects that you know are going to be superstars in the next two to three years so uh, it definitely was crazy and um, eye-opening but you know uh, my time in Peterborough I learned so much playing playing with people my own age at such a high caliber uh, you know I had to push myself even more to make sure that you know I wasn't left behind whereas in the UK for me and juniors you know it wasn't there wasn't a lot of times you were really pushed uh, you know in games and practice because um, just because you know there wasn't the same level of talent as you know when you go to the, uh, the the GB programs that's the first time you really play you know practice as a, as a whole team with a whole team's talented whereas you know at the junior levels is sometimes a big drop off so it was definitely a, a, a challenge but you know one that I, I enjoyed and definitely made me a better player for it. You said in Peterborough playing with players your own age now playing in the elite series again you're back to playing against sort of men as it were do you think that's been quite good for you to go back into that playing against you know guys of all ages again? Yeah, hundred um, percent. You know, it's like I said when, when you come in uh, as a younger kid in the elite league, it's hard to to get ice time, and you know you have to you know, earn your respect a bit more. So for me, moving uh, away, um, you know, playing at the junior level in Canada, playing against all these top players and prospects that. You know, I got to play first uh, and second line minutes, power play, penalty kill, all stuff that I probably wouldn't have played if I stayed at Sheffield for them two years. Um, so, you know, when I come back, I, I'm more well-rounded player. My, uh, you know, my, my game's progressed a lot more than I think it would have if I'd have stayed in England. So, like I said, when you come back, you, you feel more confident and you feel like you can play at a higher level. And, uh, you know, I think... Um, you know, don't want to toot my own horn or anything, but you know, I think that um, I've definitely showed that I've came a long way. You can toot your horn. That's that's absolutely fine. Very odd year that we've talked about. What's your sort of aim now, looking forward? We know you have, if you're going to play in the UK, you have the contract with the Steelers. But without being disrespectful, the, the aim must be to try and and go somewhere of a higher level. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Obviously, for me, the, the goal is still to sign an NHL inch level contract and. Um, you know the the Steelers gave me that security, which was you know great for me. It made me feel a lot more comfortable, especially with the COVID situation. So um, you know it's nice that I do have that option. But yeah, like I said, no disrespect to the league, but I want to get to the highest level I possibly can. Um, I think that's the the priority for me is just to play as high as I possibly can at the best level I can um, each season. So you know these. Um, nothing in the works of yeah I guess I can say you know that's still down to my age and, and there's still plenty of time to kind of sort that out but for me the priority is to um, you know make sure that as is the Steelers we, we win this elite series and then we go to the world championships and we perform well there so. That said you know having grown up in Sheffield and played there in juniors pulling that orange jersey on every game must still feel a bit special. Yeah it definitely is I think uh, you know um, it's always an honour to to play for the Steelers, you know, especially like I said, growing up being a fan of the Steelers, my parents were a fan of the Steelers. It's you not know, surreal. That was always my dream as a kid was to play for the Steelers. So, um, you know, I didn't expect to be back so soon, but I'm not going to lie. There was a smile on my face when I put that jersey back on and, and went out there for the first time. I think the only thing that missing is the, is the Steelers fans to be out there screaming, uh, cheering you on. And what's it like also, you know, going into that locker room with guys you grew up watching and probably idolising, Dowdy, John Phillips, Jason Hewitt, and now you're on the team and you're a core part of their team as well? Yeah, obviously, you know, I had that experience when I was uh, 16, 17, 18, when I first signed. And I think back then it was more kind of, you know, stargazing, I guess you can say. You, you kind of grew up watching them players, like you said, and um, you idolise them a little bit. So, uh, but now it's, um, you know, it's nice to, to be... I guess you can say just included, you know, you just, the friends to me now, you know, I'm not looking at them as these superstars that I used to watch as a kid, you know, I can just call them friends and, and teammates. And, you know, I trained with John all summer um, and Dowdy as well. So, you know, we're pretty close and um, it's just nice to just, you know, um, have that experience to be back playing with them again. And um, yeah, you know, I can't say anything but good things about them. So. 
Lastly, after the Elite Series is done, a small matter of the World Championships, how much of an opportunity do you see this also being for you, again, given the year that, that's gone before it? Uh, you know, I think it's definitely going to be big. I'm trying not to, you know, think too much about it being, you know, the tournament where I need to play really good at. I'm trying to, you know, just keep it in the back of my mind. And, and you know, it's hockey at the end of the day. I just have to go and play and have fun. That's the main thing. But I think a lot of us guys, you know, uh, speaking for myself and I'm sure a lot of other British players, this has been the main focus, especially the way this year has gone, is we've all been aiming to for the World Championships. So, um, you know, we're all excited to get going, be back together as, as one team and hopefully, you know, there's, there's no relegation this year, so we don't have to worry about that, but we want to make sure we go and play the best we can and, and, and have fun doing it. Bonus last question. I lied. Sorry. Online, there's no fans here, but you, you get so much love from fans online as well, especially now coming back to the UK. But when you were abroad as well, that must feel quite nice sometimes when you're alone somewhere in another country, you know, just to know you've got the support. Yeah, definitely. The support um, from the British fans is insane. You know, the first time I ever really experienced um, you know how truly passionate they are is when, when you go to the World Championships with GB and you see just the the colours of you know blue and red just waving the flags and they're all there cheering non-stop you know it's it, it is insane and you know uh, the Steelers fans are incredible obviously you know um, but you know everyone around the uh, the country has been really supportive of me and my journey um, you know and I, I can't thank them enough um, there's been times I've been playing in Canada and I've seen uh, Steelers jerseys in the crowd and you know it's crazy you know <laughs> that's the last thing you expect is to see orange in the crowd but you do and it's um, it's just a nice feeling to know that you know they take time out of their trip uh, in Canada to come and watch me play and it's um, you know like I said I can't say anything but just amazing things about the, the fans and the support that the, the British uh, people give me so. Liam thank you so much for your time good luck for no the worries. next three months. Thank you. Thank you.